This 2,400 square foot detached home has Mona and Dong in disagreement. After 12 years, Dong is fed up with the home's outdated vibe and wants to move. If someone wants to go back to the 1970s, come to our house. Look at this wallpaper. Like, this stuff is vintage. I think it came when we first bought the house. The foyer needs a lot of work. We've got shoes everywhere. Like, this doesn't work for us anymore. I hate all things about this kitchen. I am tired of having conversations with the kids like this or like this. I hate the fact that we've got appliances that, that sometimes work and sometimes don't. This doesn't even work anymore. The kitchen is the hub of where we live. We can refresh it. We can get rid of all the cupboards. We can modernize it. I love it. Mona is attached to the memories they've built as a family and wants to stay. I'm attached to this, this place. This is where we have our memories. The family room looks like an outdated cottage. The living room is used as a gaming room. Might I remind you that this is where you work. With the renovation, we can change that space, and I can have my office where it makes sense. I just don't think this home can accommodate the things that she's looking for. Welcome to our unfinished basement. This basement has so much potential with Hillary's magic fairy dust. I'm sure she can do something with this space, and it's a huge basement. Look how much ceiling room we have. I think it's just time for us to move and create a new space with new memories, and we're moving. We're definitely staying. After ooh. After ooh? Sorry, I didn't even mean to say that. I don't know what came over me. I guess it was the wallpaper. I've done an evaluation on your home. Okay. Yes. And current value is $1,100,000. What are your must-haves to get you out of this house and into a new one somewhere else? A modern Eaton kitchen, four bedrooms, four bathrooms, a finished basement for Dong and the kids, and close to the neighborhood. What is the budget for the new house? $1.6 million. Tell me what you need me to do that will convince you this is a house that you should stay in. Create an open concept main floor with a renovated kitchen, and let's create a library, something that Mona can use as an office space. Update the powder room, update the mudroom slash laundry room, and finish the basement with a guest room, bathroom, and media room. Let's just define media room. Man cave. <laughs> OK, what's my budget? $250,000. That's a good budget. When I'm done, I really believe you're going to love it. I'm going to find you the perfect home, and the only thing you're going to say about this house is listed. We'll see. Blow out this foyer completely, including this, and peel this back. You still you. want closets on this Oh, we need though. to have closets, okay. of course, yes. The concept is really to run every single room at the back of the house, this dining room, the kitchen, and the family room into one space. So okay. everything from this point is being demolished. This is now open. I want to close off all access from the hallway because my working wall is on this side. And this is where I'm going to put my fridge, my stove, and cabinetry. And I'm going to put a big island here. With Hillary's plans finalized, demolition begins with ceilings coming down, kitchen removal, old flooring being lifted, and walls opened up. And David hopes for luck with his house tour. It's the first house for Mona and Dong, and it's a good one. It's beautiful. House has four bedrooms, four bathrooms, beautiful open concept main floor, an incredibly finished basement. Walk out to a great backyard. Location-wise, I don't know if they're going to love it. Welcome to the neighborhood. I know you're giving me that look because we're not exactly in your neighborhood, but what do you think of the house? One car garage. That's the first thing I see because I'm comparing it to my own house. I know you are. <laughs> I know you are. Let's go. OK. Oh, wow. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, it's got all the bells and whistles for sure, David. <laughs> so this space to me is very big in total, mm -hmm. but each Delineated space feels a little small. Finished basement. My space. Got a full kitchen. Down here, you have a full bathroom, four piece. This will be the spare bedroom. Decent size. Got some natural light coming in. It's not that big down here. We're going to head up to the second floor. Sounds All right? good. Yep. Okay. Let's go. Bedroom number one. Really I know. Really Listen, small. would this be too small for a kid's bedroom? Yes. So you got a nice big backyard. Where's the deck? I don't see the deck. <laughs> Come on, this is better than a deck. And more fun, too. <laughs> Can you imagine? This would be awesome. Mona's not convinced. No? <laughs> I know how you feel about the location, but um, what do you think? 
And the size of the bedrooms. Okay. I didn't love. Okay. Uh, I think it's a start. Yep. But I don't think it quite hits the mark for what we're looking for. Okay. What do you think this house is listed at? $1.3 million. What do you think? I'm going to guess $1.4 million. This house is listed at $1.4 million. Okay. This is the first house, right? Mm -hmm. uh, there's other houses we're going to look at. Hillary's going to do an incredible job in their house with the money they're giving her. So I really have to step up in a big time way. We've got bathroom, full bathroom, really mm -hmm. good sized bathroom, and a kitchenette right where you're standing. Yeah. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And then we come into the main space. Hillary, I don't know if I like that idea, to be honest with you. You're pushing me in, and this bathroom's taking so much room. Can't we move the bathroom somewhere else so that we can have more space here? This bathroom is designed around the existing plumbing. Where are you suggesting the bathroom goes? At the very end here? Correct. To move that plumbing is going to be an awful lot of money. We have to dig a trench all the way across the floor. It would be way over and above your budget. We're going to have to make him happy, Hillary. Yeah, you do. Dong isn't happy with it. I'm in trouble here. $250,000 renovation, I'm allowed to pout. Me not getting what I want in that basement is a huge sacrifice. David hopes for better luck with his next house tour. This house has four bedrooms, four bathrooms, beautiful open concept main floor, fully finished basement. There's a lot to love. <laughs> Come on in. Oh. oh, wow. Nice. What do you think? Wow, very nice, David. It's nice, huh? Completely open concept, nice high ceilings. You got the nice big island. You've got tons of counter space, cupboard space. That's beautiful. It is a nice use of space. Just the layout is nice, right? Just yep. for people to get together and, and yeah. hang out. Walk out to the deck. Check this out. Whoa. It's nice. It's like graduating from the pool to the hot tub. I know. <laughs> How do you feel about that little graduation? Is it a graduation? I just feel like the, the yard is a little bit smaller than ours. Right. Let's go see the upstairs, the second okay. floor, see what that has to offer. <laughs> bedroom number one. This is the smallest of the four bedrooms up here. I think the bedrooms are a little small for three kids. All right, we got a lot more to see. This is one part of the basement. There's going to be an area that you could turn into a bedroom if you wanted to. You've got a four-piece washroom down here. And unlike yours, it's finished. Don't love the, the, the low ceiling. Mm -hmm. You're not even saying anything. <laughs> Woo, it's that bad. What do you think this house is listed at? $1.2 million. $1.35 million. This house is listed at $1.5 million. OK. I know you're. I know you're not happy right now. I need a little more space on the upstairs and higher ceilings in the basement. I just don't see our family in there. Not that much. It's very doable. Construction continues with the new hardwood flooring throughout, and work on the basement bathroom yeah. begins. I had something in mind for the basement, and I don't know Hillary's going to deliver for me, and that's really concerning. And David is hoping to drive home a win with his next house. It's incredible. Two-car garage, completely open concept, eat-in kitchen, family room combination, five bedrooms, four bathrooms. The basement, completely finished, high ceilings. It's almost perfect. Oh, wow. Okay. What do you think of the house? If the inside is as nice as the outside, I think we're off to a good start, David. Mona, thank you. <laughs> Very nice, David. Come on in. Oh, wow. Wow. And you can see the view from here. It's incredible. It's yeah, beautiful. Right? You feel like you're in the country. We move into the family room, living room, dining room combination, and then the kitchen right around the corner. Ooh, oh, fancy. Wow. There's lots of options in this basement. Guest bedroom with a window, a beautiful three-piece washroom. Then you have the party area. Oh. This is where you entertain. No, we don't have that. We do not. This is great. Cool. It doesn't, doesn't feel like a basement. Feel like a, exactly. That's it. Exactly. And that's, that's really the key to a great basement renovation, is that it doesn't feel like a basement when it's done. So there are five bedrooms up here. What? Yes, five bedrooms. You've got the four you obviously need for you guys and you know your three kids. Yeah. Plus, you've got an additional bedroom for whatever you want. The main bedroom, you've got closet for you, closet Gorgeous. for you. Yeah. Oh. Oh, this is so nice. Nice. Yeah. I, I really do like this one. I think that it's got everything that we've asked for. What do you think this house is listed at? $1.5 million. $1.7 million. Your budget's $1.6 million. Correct. This house is listed at $1,570,000. Just 
under budget. Wow. And it gives you everything that you guys need. That's pretty exciting, isn't it? Yeah, it's got lots to think about. Have I made Hillary's job hard? No, it's definitely a challenge for Hillary. With her renovation complete, Hillary is ready to show her work to Dong and Mona. Today's the day. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> this oh isn't our place, is it? Oh my gosh. Incredible. So you have new floors everywhere, but this staircase is the first thing you really see. Yeah. Right. And it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It now is beautiful. <laughs> All right, so we're moving on now. But I'm going to call it Mona's space. <gasps> oh, oh, my, my goodness. Gosh. <laughs> you told me you wanted a library, a quiet room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's beautiful, Hillary. Oh, my gosh. I can't contain myself. <laughs> it's peaceful. It's functional. Stunning. This is it. This is a perfect spot. Wow. It is perfect, Hillary. What? Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. New doors. Look at the light coming through. Beautiful light and access. How beautiful in the summer to have those open. This is a wonderful setup because it can be very elegant. It can be very laid back. Very welcoming. It's like a dream, Hillary. I just, I'm like pinching myself as you're speaking. This is like unbelievable. Look at the So you have this island. huge <laughs> island that comfortably fits six. Storage everywhere. Everywhere you look, there is storage. This is beautiful backsplash, which gives you texture and contrast, but it ties in. It's oh gorgeous. My do we remember this room dark and dingy? Oh, oh the, do we the ever? Panel walls. I really need you to stand here and look at this. Oh my goodness. Wow. Isn't it beautiful? It's gorgeous. And it's spectacular. And you yes. literally still have visual contact wherever you are. Oh. OK, so we're not quite done yet. OK. okay. Laundry room. Close your eyes. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. You've got a counter for sorting, for folding. Oh, nice. Storage underneath, storage above. And the dog got something for himself, oh too. <laughs> I wanted to do this for you. I mean, who wouldn't want to have oh my a little dog washing station if you could have it? <laughs> I'm glad you love it. Oh, my love goodness. It, what, what a surprise, honestly. Yeah, this is perfect. I'm going to go downstairs. It's all about you. All right, oh thank boy. you. All right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, this is incredible. Wow. It's my space. It's all your space. <laughs> yes, this is a hangout space for you. You can watch movies, you can watch wow. sports. I'm not sure it is big enough, right? Yes, it is big enough. I didn't think so, but it, wow. Here is your new bathroom. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. <laughs> wow. <gasps> Double vanity. Look at the sides of the shower. Wow. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm, I'm at a loss for words. So. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> it's... So I let's know. talk about when you have a guest. Yeah. And of course, they need a place to sleep. So let's go look at that. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. This is so cozy. This is it so lovely? Nice. Yeah. You've got a big decision to make. We do indeed. We do. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. That is now the value of your home with the renovation that has been done. The pre-renovation value of their home was $1.1 million. With a renovation budget of $250,000, the new value of their home is $1.5 million for an increase of $400,000. Honestly, the transformation in this place, it's not what I expected. Comfortable? 
No, I'm not, I'm actually, actually, I'm not comfortable at all at this moment in time. Really? I you just know, did the walkthrough. I'm not comfortable at all. I feel kind of sorry for you, actually. The basement here is done beautifully. Mm -hmm. But the fact that oh, the okay. other place is under budget. Yeah. If I were in your shoes, I'd feel terrible. Does that help? I hope they missed it. <laughs> you ready? Ready. OK. OK. Are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We're going to love it. What? <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> At least get him over to watch a game with you in that fantastic. Uh... That's incredible. You bring too. your son over, we'll do it together. Awesome. Does that make awesome. up for it? Yes, yeah, no. no. <laughs> no, no, no.